Thank you for staying tuned and it's your favorite TV station, Royal TV. We have Mr. Mika from Gogo here. He's on right now to talk and, you know, enlighten us more about internet. Good evening, sir. Good evening. And how are you doing? Very fine. Uh, for viewers at home, can you just introduce yourself? Okay, my name is Chukwe Mika Afibo. I work as a program manager with Google. Okay, so so far so good. Do you enjoy today's um, discussion forum? Yes, it's been very, very interesting. It's um, actually great when you get to hear how the same report impacts different people from different uh, industries. So we've had people from the banking sector, we've had core developers, we've had people in e-commerce, people from the academia, and each of them is bringing their own point of view to the impact of the internet study, which is very refreshing and very enlightening. Okay, so from all the analysis during today, how relevant is this report? Um, I think, like I said, it, I think it's very relevant and you can see that from the way uh, the different panelists have interacted with the report. So everybody has seen something in the report that they believe speaks to their own particular situation. So um, I think uh, the report was actually very in-depth and they tried to touch on various sectors. You know, so which is why it's good that we're here today to hear what those, some of those sectors anyway how they are reacting to the information that has been put out there in the form of the report. All right, before I let you go, they actually spoke about, um, from, they checked things out from the angle of education and also from government. Mm -hmm. In your own view, if you to advise the secondary school pupil mm -hmm. how to come online, what do you think and how do you think they should go about it? Yeah, I think uh, the internet is a, from the point of view of a student, the internet is a very, very valuable resource, a very big resource. Um, today there is almost no kind of knowledge that you want that you cannot find online. Um, the, what in my personal opinion I see as a tragedy is that a lot of people today see the internet as just social media especially the generation, like you said, in secondary school or coming here. So they don't see the other side of it. They only see one facet of this, which is social media. And so if you were to ask me for advice, I would say that they should consider exploring other aspects of the internet, you know, the bodies of knowledge online. Um, they, sh they should be the ones going out to get the information that they share on social media, not just consuming what other people have shared on, on, on social media. So they should get to know about various news sites, the likes of Wiki, also sites like Wikipedia, um, and so many other uh, you know, repositories of knowledge online. You know, yeah. I know somebody out there is actually praying that I should ask this question. Okay, um, for someone who um, has decided to start something on the internet, probably paying for money, when, at what time do you think you can start generating money and what are the things, like qualities, mm -hmm. that he has to do before he has access or can be um, given adverts on his mm -hmm. or um, website? Yeah. Well, I think if you talk to any of the entrepreneurs out there, you know, in the panel, they'll tell you one thing, that you create value and value creates money, right? You don't go for the, well, you can go for the money first, but for you to make money, you have to be offering something of value. So no matter what it is, even if it's a blog, you know, that you, you, you run a blog and you hope to be able to make money from uh, online ads, your blog has to contain information that people want. And you can't get that information just by maybe copying other people's content or something. You need to create content. You need to invest time, learn how to write, for example. It's a skill that it's not everybody that has it. You have to cultivate it. You need to put interesting stuff that people want to read, right? So I always say that when it's time for you to make money online, you know, because the traffic that you're driving to your site you know, if, for example, it's a blog, for example, the traffic alone will tell you that uh, this is a nice time to cash in. A lot of people want to start making money from the first day they set up the blog and have just two readers, maybe them and their best friend or their <laughs> mother or father, you know. And, yeah, so I'll say create value and the value creates money. Okay, so lastly, before I let you go, uh, it's so blurring that Google is a well-established company and doing well. So what has Google impacted in terms of, you know, impactation concerning the country? What has Google 
done to improve the economy of Nigeria? Yeah, well, um, if you're looking for maybe hard figures, I can't give you hard figures because, I mean, really a, 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 lot, a lot of what we're doing, you know, is improving the lives of everyday Nigerians, both in the short and long term, right? So if you talk to anybody at Google, they'll tell you that we're working on three major areas. One is internet access, right? And the second one is making the internet relevant in the everyday lives of Nigerians. And the third one is sustainability, that's doing this in a sustainable manner. You know, so each of these things, as we achieve them, the whole aim is to enable people to succeed online. Right? And, you know, we're far from where we should be in terms of achieving that goal, but we have made a lot of progress. And I'm sure if you, if you sample a lot of our communities, like the Google Developer Groups or the Student Ambassadors or the Google Business Groups, you see a lot of success stories of people who have been actually able to improve their lives, you know, just by being online. So being online brought in an added dimension. There are so many success stories like that. People whose businesses have, uh, their revenue has tripled, doubled, and so on, just because they brought in the added dimension of the internet. So yeah, if you look at that in its entirety, you can say that, yeah, we've had, in my opinion, you know, some impact on the economic lives of And finally, do you have any advice for the government concerning their take or their own little contribution no, well, I'll say this report, impact of the internet, you know, it's very important, and I do know that the government is very interested in this report. And, uh, you know, also listening carefully to hear what the private sector has to say about this report, which is why we're having this panel. So, uh, in terms of what I'll say to government is, yeah, um, to digest what the output from this panel has been and take the necessary steps to make sure that it's possible to, to make it even more of a reality in the lives of Nigerians. That is the internet being a force for economic growth. Thank you very much for your time and have a lovely day. Thank you very much.